Hello from the static display at MBAA Base. I'm Joe Anselmo, Aviation Week, joined by my colleague, Guy Norris. We have a special guest, Eric Martel, the CEO of Bombardier. Eric, thanks for joining us. Hey, Joe, happy to join you. Okay, so we've been hearing a lot here at MBAA about SAF. Everyone's saying SAF, 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 but Bombardier also has a project, uh, the EcoJet, that's getting beyond SAF. It's actually looking at the shape of an airplane and going away from the tube and wing that we wings that we've had forever. Uh, and just by changing the shape, you think you can get 20% more fuel savings Absolutely out of it. Tell yeah. us how that works. Yeah, how that works. So it's really about, we've been at it for a couple of years yeah. now. You know, it's about changing uh, the shape of the airplane. We call it a blended wing to the fuselage technology. Uh, we actually flew a drone, you know, with that shape, so to demonstrate, you know, what we are expecting. And we'll be in the zone of an 18 to 20% saving on emission, you know, because of the shape having less friction, you know, a better aerodynamic. So we are excited about the project. We are going, we're building right now. We actually flew, that's a bit of a scoop, but that we just flew a, a drone, you know, bigger now with about 18 foot of wingspan. So we're getting bigger and bigger and we're just validating this technology. So there is the shape of the airplane, but we're also incorporating all kind of other technology and more electrical, things like that. So that when we do launch a, a new program, because this is purely a, a technology bench development uh, opportunity for us. As we launch future program in the future, then we will incorporate slowly some of these technologies. So, Eric, could you describe a little more about the uh, propulsion technology that you might think could feature one day in a concept like that? I think there's many things that the uh, the engine uh, OEM are doing right now. You know, if you look behind, you know, we already saved, you know, probably 10%. Like, just look at our, our uh, global, uh, going from the 6,000 to the, uh, the 6,500, we saved about 10% less SFC, 10% uh, better SFC. So that's already a, a, a big progress. But they are already looking at stuff. I think one of the things that they're looking at is to have more sustainable fuel. Today, as you know, we put about 25% of uh, sustainable fuel mixed with regular fuel. I think some of them are starting to think about having 100% sustainable fuel. So that will be a major step, of course, in uh, in making progress. Right, and beyond that, of course, you know, we're looking. The industry is looking at hybrid and more, more electric and even hydrogen. Do you, do you think this the approach you're taking could be agnostic at the moment to whatever comes out? Yeah, we still on the battery. You know, the reality we still have a long way. You know, yeah. battery are probably you know four times too too heavy for what we could need. You know, on an airplane. So a lot of technology on the battery side will have to uh, to emerge. You know, hydrogen is also another challenge. You know, because if you put fuel cell, a fuel cell is basically a battery. You're also adding weight to the airplane. So I think the one that in my mind looks very promising in the shorter term is probably having more sustainable fuel, you know, part of the uh, of the mix of fuel. Eric, when we think of radical innovations, and this is pretty radical, um, we tend to think of the big guys, the Airbus, the Boeing. Why is why is this so suited for business aviation? Yeah. But I think you know, I don't know, the, the big guy will, will answer that. Maybe they'll 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 look at similar technology. But we thought that for private aviation, you know, people are open, you know, the airplane are smaller, of course, and I, we thought that this could be adapted to a real private jet and give a shape that, you know, customer will accept too, because eventually, you know, this is just a demo right now. It will evolve as we as we do more R and D, but eventually the shape needs to be adapted and accepted by the customer. Uh, one last question from me. Yeah. Obviously, Bombardier is pushing the frontiers. You're the only business aircraft company so far to even go in a direction, as Joe mentioned, away from you know traditional uh, wing and, uh, yeah. and fuselage uh, concept. But you're also looking at going faster too. And you, we recently did a story about your test pilots <laughs> flying last year <laughs> supersonic uh, as part of the Global 8000 8, uh, project. Do you think there's a future way ahead for literally for a supersonic transport, a yeah. purpose-designed one? Yeah, it's not in the game plan for us right now to develop a supersonic airplane. And I know a lot of people, I think, I think it's a bit of a niche market. Uh, but I think, you know, we believe right now that our effort are more to be 
input into the sustainable aspect of the airplane. So we have more materials sustainable. You know, we just made an announcement today of having all the Bombardier fleet basically flight test airplane flying with uh, SAF, with more SAF on board across the board. And and I think you know there'll be maybe room for supersonic eventually, but I think it's it's going to be very limited. You know, our airplane are already very capable. If you look at the Global 8000, it's going to go at 0.94 percent of supersonic. It's going to be certified for that mission. We flew it supersonic for a certification process, but clearly, you know, this is already pretty fast. And, and you know, we're excited about also the distance that that airplane can carry at the same time. So, uh, Back to the blended wing body, you said you gave our, our viewers a scoop that uh, it's flown a smaller version, I guess, sub 20%, right? Yeah. 18 foot wingspan? Yeah, exactly. So 18, 18 feet actually of wingspan yeah. was what we were able to flow at least a couple of times already. So, and then we're going to be uh, able to, you know, characterize the plane and the aerodynamic and took all the measurement to validate again, you know, the potential emission savings. Where are you flying? Ah, uh, that's a secret, well kept secret. But in Canada? <laughs> it's somewhere in Canada, but Canada is pretty big, so... <laughs> okay, well that's a challenge there to our, to our plane spotters that we're watching. Hey, last, last question, Eric. Are we going to see this in our lifetime? I mean, are you going to be selling these? in your career or is this going to take a while? It could know. be. It's going to take a while actually and I don't know if the shape is going to be different or very similar but I think we can we can definitely see it eventually coming up uh, you know in, in our you know in, in an expected reasonable amount of time. Okay Eric Martel thanks for waiting through all the noise to get here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you much. so much. Your time. Thanks, Joe. Thanks Thank to you. both of you.